Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2019 Cadillac CT6 Sport. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2019 Cadillac CT6 is a full-size luxury sedan that has aggressive styling and a refreshing execution that is departure from a cookie-cutter sedans by the European and Asian luxury car manufacturers. For 2019, the CT6 receives updates that resolve some of the issues I felt hurt its chances compared to its rivals. A new base engine and transmission combo should be more efficient, while items that were previously options have been added to the standard features list. From a usability perspective, knob-based controls for the infotainment system replace the clunky touchpad Cadillac previously used. The MSRP range for the 2019 Cadillac CT6 is from about $50,495 on up to a range top in $86,795. There are a few things that are new for 2019. I've got four of them listed. Number one, there's that refreshed exterior design. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Then number two, there's that new turbocharged four-cylinder engine and a 10-speed automatic transmission. That's standard now. There's revised trim levels. We'll talk about that in a second. And then, of course, there's that high-performance CT6V that's debuting later on this year. I did a complete overview of that vehicle. I'm going to put a link up to that right now. I've got a few pros and cons. I haven't talked about pros and cons in a while. I've got a few pros and cons for this 2019 CT6. Pros, I've got four of them. One, plenty of rear passenger space for adults. Number two, engaging driving experience for a large luxury sedan. Number three, price less than many competing sedans. And number four, the Super Cruise system offers hands-free driving on the highway. We'll learn about that when we get to the features. Now, on the con side of things, the downside, I have three. Virtually no customability uh, compared to rivals. So you get what you get based on those trim levels. And then number two, lack of Cosseting ride quality offered by uh, by the comp by competitors. So maybe the ride quality isn't quite the same uh, as some of the high end German rivals. And then the standard four cylinder engine might be down on power depending on who you're talking to. The 2019 Cadillac CT6 is a large luxury sedan available in four main trim levels. The CT6 Luxury, which is the base model, is well equipped, while the premium luxury trim adds high end safety and convenience features. The sport trim comes with a V6 and aggressive bodywork. Finally, the Platinum makes all options standard and features and, and features that twin turbo uh, V6 engine that puts out just over 400 horsepower. And then, of course, there's that high performance model that's going to be coming out later on this year. And we'll learn a little bit more about that vehicle as we go along, too, because surely they're going to talk about it. Now, I like the sport for varying reasons, just because I do. I, I like I like the sport, the aggressive bodywork. All that stuff. Now, maybe you're not into that, and here's the deal. I think Cadillacs, I think they're smart money. I think that if you have the money, I think why not get the Platinum? If you can go all in and you've got $86,000 burning a hole in your pocket, get the Platinum because the Platinum's fighting way above its weight, right? It's got impressive technology features such as the night vision assist, the Super Cruise, uh, while the performance side includes the all-wheel drive and that punchy, uh, twin turbo V6. It is the most expensive one, but this price point right here is where most of the other high-end luxury sedans are just getting started at this price point. Now, if that said, I like the Sport because, well, it's about $20,000 cheaper. I still get the same engine, and yeah, it's got the 19-inch wheels I'm not crazy about, and I don't have the Bose Panerai, but I'm, I'm wondering if I can option that. And even if I can't, I'm okay with that. If you want to get something a little bit less, I still think the premium luxury is a nice car. I don't want the luxury no matter what, but the premium luxury is a nice car. And if I remember correctly, the premium luxury also gets you into the, um, it gets you into the full LCD uh, instrument cluster too. We'll find, more out, we'll find more about that when we get into this. Uh, I really like these CT6s, as you may or may not be able to tell. I actually did a build-in price on the 2018 CT6 Platinum. So if you really want to check out a Platinum, because I bet you it's not that much different than uh, the one I did last year, 
check out that one. I'm going to go ahead and put a link up to the 2018 CT6 Platinum. I did. So here's that new reworked bodywork on this 2019 CT6. And it looks hot. I mean, it looks hot. I don't know how much you're into the Cadillac product, but see this whole this whole lower end down here, all of this has been reworked. All this bodywork's been reworked. These wheels look revised and and the and the lights, this the design overall is the same, yet it's it, it's evolved. This has been cleaned up and it's more aggressive in the front end. Uh, it's it's a sharper, harder looking car in a good way, in a really good way. So they've got our interior colors they want to show us. Or I'm sorry, the exterior colors they want to show us. So let's check them out. This one's called Manhattan Noir Metallic. Then we've got the Red Horizon looking super sporty. The Black Raven, they all look good to me because I just love this car. Satin Steel. Or crystal white. Doesn't matter to me. I'll take it in any color. I'll take one of these in any color. They're all good to me. Now, they will show us, uh, we can check out the, I'm sorry, the interior. We can see how the interior is laid out. Now, this is the uh, CT6 Premium Luxury sh Interior shown. Right there, there's the jet black. And there's the, the other angle of jet black for the premium. And then here's that Sahara beige with jet black accents. This is from the driver's seat. We can see that you've got a nice uh, look at everything, a nice commanding look. You've got this beautiful infotainment, the beautiful electronic shifter. You still have an iDrive light controller that does have some hard buttons. And then you've got your standard instrument cluster. Now, this is a premium. This is your base model, right? And there's your shot of the interior side there. I see rear side window shades back here. All right, you see the rear side window shades? That looks good. Now, this is the premium luxury with the, uh, what color is this? The dark auburn. This is beautiful. Look at that. I actually saw one of these. I was looking at these for sale. I was on Auto Trader looking at these, and I saw one with these dark auburn seats. And that's when I was like, ooh, they've done something new for 2019. I better look at this car. Uh, here's the jet black with Chevron perforated inserts. Looking good. And then there's the Sahara Beige with the same deal. And then, of course, there's the Dark Auburn with the Chevron perforated. Now, look. See, now here's the Premium Luxury. Here's that LCD screen right here. You see the LCD screen? Looks really nice, doesn't it? I really like this. I'm just going to call it like a Dark Burgundy, a Dark Merlot, or something. I like it. It's very, very attractive. Okay, let's move on. Let's check the, um, the gallery. Let's look at the images. It looks like there's 16 images. I don't know if that's total or just for the interior, but I can see that this particular one that they're showing us has that Bose Panerai system sticking up, and, you know, I don't know what you know about, like, the high-end audio systems for these, like, super sedans, like, that Audi and everybody offers, but Audi and Mercedes, they use, like, Bang & Olufsen and, and all these other high-end. Panerai is still a Bose system, but it's like a 34-speaker Bose system. This looks to be, what, that electronic uh, rear-view mirror? I've test I've test-driven a CT6. There's a nice shot of that. It's beautiful. I want one of these cars. I really want one of these cars. I want a lot of cars, actually. I want to own many cars, but I really this one needs to be one of those cars. It's a very, very nice car. I think it's beautiful. That's a beautiful shot there of the rear seat entertainment. Look at you get a nice look at that leather and the quality and the leather all wrapped under there and the beautiful uh, looks like burl walnut wood on the on the steering wheel. Looks very attractive. This guy's just uh chilling maybe he's on uber right uh nice shot of the cadillac right here there's a really good shot of that revised front end looking very aggressive looking quite sporty lights are really sharpened up i love this car it's, ah that looks good the only thing missing in this car with this car is me in it right i take it in this color i think we're gonna have to build it and price it in this color looks fantastic Yes. Mm, the wheels look great. Beautiful car. Beautiful, beautiful car. All right. Are there any other photos? Let's check. No, there were not any other photos. We went through that whole gallery of interior and exterior photos, and that was fine. We saw enough. Now we're on to the features for the 2019 Cadillac CT6. So let's jump into these features and see what everything they have. Let's check it out. First up is performance. 
No surprise, says a powerful decision. The CT6 is dedicated to performance with four different engine selections, each paired with a 10-speed hydromatic transmission that makes shifting among gears fast, responsive, and intelligent. So there's a 2-liter 4-cylinder. That's your standard engine. It's got 237 horsepower, and it's responsive, yet it's efficient. Then there's a 3.6-liter naturally aspirated V6 that makes 335 horsepower. And then there's the 3-liter twin-turbo V6 that makes 400 horsepower. Now, where are they getting four engines from? Four different engine selections. I count one, two, three. Now, where's the other one? I don't know. All right, maybe they're going to show us somewhere else. All right, let's move on. Lightweight architecture. The lightweight CT6 architecture is, the, is the, at its core of its agile handling. This is the core of its hand, agile handling. The stats such as 220 pounds saved over traditional steel construction, 62% aluminum structure, and 12 new patents. The CT6 has innovative bones. Good car. Active chassis system. With, max, with the available, right, optional active chassis package, every wheel drives, steers, and with magnetic ride control, adjusts vertical suspension damping within milliseconds, offering you exceptional maneuverability. Isn't that car just... Mm. Good looking. Mm. Let's talk about the exterior of that beautiful, beautiful car. Design you're driven to. Strength and style are complemented by a powerful stance and iconic vertical lighting. Lines, curves, and sweeping planes seamlessly mesh. Choose between two distinct exterior personas, luxury and sport. I'll take mine and sport, please. Let's learn about these signature lamps. Slice through lamp design. Signature headlamps are a key facet of the vehicle's silhouette. They employ bi-LED high-low beam projectors to increase visibility. The tail lamps mirror the front design but present a rear exterior that is stylish and unmistakably Cadillac. Wheels, 20 inches of distinction, stand out from the wheels up. 20-inch ultra-bright wheels are available on the premium luxury and sport models. Great, because standards 19-inch sport wheels or 19-inch wheels on the sport. I don't know if you caught that. And 20-inch twin five-spoke alloys uh, with manu... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that finish. <laughs> with some kind of finish on it are available on the Platinum model. Now, I like the wheels that are on the Platinum, but I bet you they're not going to give us the same wheels on the Platinum that you can get on the 20s on, the, on our sport. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Speaking of sport, whoop, all right, here we go. Athletic in appearance and in action. The CT6's unique grill, ground effects, and dark trim complement its agile, sporty spirit. Sporty spirit, sporty spice, right? I love this car. Look at it. Look at the, the ground effects, the body work. And so they say the, the dark trim. I bet you what they mean by that is normally around the windows, it's probably chromed out, and it looks like it's all blacked out. It's all dark. BMW calls it shadow line. All right, let's check out the interior. Uh, the interior is packed with modern comforts, curated aesthetics, and savvy controls. From its range of elegant materials and environments, such as real wood veneers or carbon fiber trim, to its superior amenities, the space inside evokes a new level of craftsmanship. It does look beautiful, doesn't it? I need a Cadillac CT6 in my life, like right now. Mm, let's check out these seats. From luxury to platinum models, you can expect more from your seats. Luxury models offer extended comfort seats, cut and sewn leather appointments, and 20-way adjustments front 20 20 way adjustable front seats. Platinum models serve additional comforts with both heated and ventilated front and rear seats and 15 unique massage settings up front. Even the rear seats finish first. With generous legroom, passengers have ample space to relax for hours on end. Okay, and then there's that, hey, when no fewer than 34 speakers will do, grab that Bose Panaray sound system, my friend, and immerse yourself in pure sound with innovative technologies. Okay, I will. If I can option that on my sport, and I'm sure you can, we're going to throw down. We are going to make the best 2019 Cadillac Sport on the planet. Speaking of that, if you like the way I'm going to build and price this thing, I've already uh, put the link to the build summary in the description below. Go down there, download that. There's also a couple other links you're going to like that are related to Cadillac. So get in there. Right, because I might do. I'm thinking of doing a full review on my website, doing a full review. So 
If I do do that, I'm going to put that link in the description below. I think I'm going to do that probably shortly after I put this video up. So, yeah, you're going to want to check that out and come back to that. Right. And then when you go over to my website, you're going to want to subscribe over there, too, so you can get those notifications when I put up new content. All right. Let's move on to technology. The Super Cruise. Here it is. Meet Super Cruise, the world's first true hands-free driver assistance feature for the freeway. The available Super Cruise feature uses precision LiDAR mapping, a state-of-the-art driver attention system, and a network of cameras and radar sensors to make long drives or even your daily commute a little easier. That sounds really interesting. I used to, I don't even like this stuff on any other car. Yet on the Cadillac, I'm like, hmm, tell me more about that. A moving entertainment center. The available rear seat entertainment system features articulating 10 inch, that sounds like they're easy to break, articulating 10 inch diagonal screens and connectivity for your personal devices, including streaming Wi Fi for your phone, tablet, or laptop, as well as HDMI and USB ports. Oh, hey. And about that Super Cruise, I was saying, hey, I'm normally not into that. I can back that up. If you watch enough of my videos where they start talking about cruise control, I'm always like, eh, eh, eh. If you watch enough of them, you'll know. So I'm legit talking about that. Let's talk about this Wi-Fi hotspot stuff, though, real quick. And then we'll be out of this little module. It says the available 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot allows you to connect up to seven devices at the same time, up to 50 feet away, so your passengers can check their email or watch their favorite entertainment. You could, if you have like an iPhone, for instance, also turn on your Wi-Fi hotspot and connect some devices too. T-O-O as an also. Moving on to safety, let's see. There is a driver awareness package, and this is going to add peace of mind to every drive. This package includes safety, safety alert seat, forward collision alert, following distance indicator, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, front pedestrian braking, lane change alert with side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, Low speed forward automatic braking and heated power folded mirrors. Power folding mirrors. That's a lot, isn't it? Then there's automatic braking. Up to certain speeds, available forward and reverse automatic braking can sense imminent forward and reverse collisions can automatically engage the brakes. I love that. If you have not already done so, helping to reduce the severity of the collision, right? If you haven't already done it, it can do it. All right, because I kind of stopped mid sentence there. The system may even help avoid a collision at very low speed. So if you're going slow enough and it, and it intervenes, it might even prevent an accident. So that's nice. Rear cross traffic alert. When backing out of a parking space, available rear cross traffic alert warns of oncoming cross traffic from either side of your vehicle with a visible alert and a pulse from the available safety alert seat. Let's check a few specs and then we're going to be ready to build in price. So... We couldn't drop off this base one. This one's over here on the left. This white one is a base one. It's over here on the left. I couldn't get rid of it. The one that we're optioning is a Sport, and that's what this one is. It's standard. It's all-wheel drive. It comes with that turbocharged V6 engine that makes 404 horsepower at 5,700 RPMs. And here's the kicker, buddy. Here's the kicker right here. It makes 400 pound-feet of torque from 2,500 RPMs to 5,100 RPMs. Now, this is interesting. Now, if you, again, if you watch enough of my videos, then you kind of understand where I'm going with this, right? Now, these turbocharged engines, what's really beautiful about turbocharged engines is that they often, they make a lot of torque and they make it down low, just off of idle. Your car, when you look at your, 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 your RPM, your tachometer, your car is idling just under, just under 1,000 RPM. And so when you put your foot on that gas, that car, your car's engine flips up to 1,500 RPM pretty quick. You don't even notice it, right? And a lot of these turbocharged engines, they start making their max torque around 1,200, 1,500, 1,700 RPM. I think it's interesting that Cadillac's chosen to make their torque come in a little bit higher. Does that mean it makes it a little smoother, where it's not as aggressive and punchy, and they did it on purpose? I think it's kind of interesting that it makes it a little higher up in the rev range. I bet you it still feels wonderful. I did not drive, when I took one of these for a test drive, I drove the standard V6 with the 335 horse engine. I did not get a chance to do the twin turbo, and I wish I would have. Okay, continuing on to some of the features and specs and kind of looking at some things, we can see that uh, magnetic ride control for our vehicle is off, is, is available. Now, why does that matter? Because magnetic ride, ride control is a big deal. It automatically adjusts suspension to road quality. Automatic road, ride control is like, it's electromagnetic, and I heard, and I could be wrong, I heard that it was so good that, like, Ferrari was using this stuff. So 
we could option ours with that. We could option it with the active rear steering, which I'm not really a fan of, but it's it's probably bundled with the magnetic ride, so I'm going to probably have to take that. That Super Cruise package looks really interesting. The adaptive cruise control, I'm not really into that stuff, but it's if it's bundled with the Super Cruise package, then yeah, I guess I'll take it. The rear camera mirror, I did have a chance to use that when I test drove the uh, Cadillac CT6. I think I test drove it 2018 or 2017. And... The electric, the electronic, or the the yeah, the electronic cam, uh, rear view mirror is interesting, and you can get used to it. But I, I found I toggled back to the traditional mirror. Uh, but that features or that standard, uh, yeah, that uh, feature is available on this car. We can see also that the heads up display is available. That's important to me. The Bose Panorama system is available. That's important to me. And a lot of the other stuff, I'm just kind of skipping over. The rest of it, let's see. What do we want? Mechanical. We don't really need to know anything about the mechanical interior, exterior, fuel efficiency. Where are we at on fuel efficiency here? Thing's got a 19 and a half gallon fuel tank. It gets 18 miles to the gallon in the city with that big engine. It gets 26 miles to the gallon on the highway, and it gets 21 miles to the gallon. Uh, your your mixed fuel economy. For standard safety features, the only thing it looks like we're missing here is the Cadillac Edition first aid kit. Uh, yeah, and the forward and reverse automatic braking is available. That was that package we were just reading. And front and brake, front and rear uh, park assist, not available. HD rear vision camera, not available. Uh, highway safety kit, yeah, that's all optional stuff. Night vision, that's available, right? Okay, so we have a lot of the stuff. Let's check out the dimensions and then warranty, and then we'll go do our building price. So cargo volume, 15.8 feet. Overall length, 205.8. Rear headroom, 38 inches. Front headroom, 40.2 inches. Front leg room, 46.4 inches. Front shoulder room, 58.3. Front hip room, a pretty a reasonably generous 55.9. Rear leg room, 40.4 inches. Rear shoulder room, nice, 56.2 inches. Rear hip, hip room, 53.5. And your wheelbase on this 2019 Cadillac CT6 is 122.4 inches. But we're not done. The overall width is 74 inches. Overall height, 58 inches. We've got a base curb weight of 4,217 pounds with a seating capacity for five. Now let's check out this warranty. Warranty tells us that the bumper-to-bumper -bumper limited warranty Four years, 50,000 mile. Powertrain limited warranty, six year, 70,000 miles. And then your roadside assistance program is six year, also six year, 70,000 miles. Okay, let's move on to the building price. We are going to get the Sport. And we're going to get that with all-wheel drive. And that comes with the three-liter turbo motor. Right, and that jacks us up to sixty-seven thousand five. Well, that's the net price, sixty-seven thousand five ninety. We've got the all-wheel drive. I don't know why they said four engines, right? They said four engines. This says three, right there. It says three. Why do they say four? I don't get it. Let's look at the interior, though. All right, all right. So we got all that. We're at sixty-seven thousand five ninety. Not that we're really looking at the price. Let's go on to colors, though. Okay, so the standard color they threw at us was black. And I'm actually kind of down for that. I'm actually kind of down for that. I know I said that the white, the crystal white tricoat, but I think I'm going to do the black Raven. I'm going to do the black, not for a price thing, but I think it just, I was thinking about a black Cadillac CT6 anyway. And so earlier, even before I did this video, so I'm going to go black, black Raven on that. And then for the interior, I wanted that dark auburn with jet black accent, leather seating surfaces with chevron perforated inserts. I want, I want that. Now, to do that, we have to add the comfort and technology package for $2,000. That's fine. When we get over to that page or that section, then we'll just, we'll, we'll just have to read what we're, what, what we're buying. It's probably stuff that we want anyway, like the heads-up display and all of that. So it's probably fine. We're probably going to be getting that anyway. So I'm not really worried about it. It's two grand. There we go. Now we have that, I'm going to call it burgundy. I'm going to call it Merlot. Now we have that Merlot interior. I think that would also look good on the crystal white, but I just want to do the black. I want to do the black. Let's go over the back to the packages next and see what we got. Okay, so packages. So you've got one exclusive package. They call that the Super Cruise package. That gives you that Super Cruise, uh, cruise Control, 
magnetic ride control, adaptive cruise control, and then super cruise steering wheel. All right. Now, what if we close that up? That's fine. And then there's these other packages. Now, the one package we got, let's scroll down real fast, was this comfort and technology package. This gives us the rear camera mirror, washer, rear camera mirror, heated rear seats, vented and vented driver and front passenger seats. Now, there's other packages. There's a premium carpet one. There's an interior protection package. There is the active chassis 19 package. And then there's the rear seat package. And then there's the active chassis package 20 because that comes with the 20 inch wheels. Okay, so let me take a look at all these and then I'm going to select them and then we'll, I'll tell you why. Okay, you're going to be surprised. You're going to be surprised. I actually, I, I thought about this for a while. I didn't, I didn't pick the Super Cruise package. It's six grand, and I think it's cool. Here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I, I don't mind the magnetic ride control. I think the magnetic ride control is cool. The magnetic ride control and crew, it, it, it has all that cool stuff. That, that's, that's the best suspension that Cadillac offers, right? That's the best suspension that they offer. I just don't want to spend six thousand dollars for it. So that kind of, that kind of did that away. I don't want to spend six thousand dollars. For something that I'm not going to probably use that much. And as far as magnetic ride control is concerned, I think it's good. But I bet you this Cadillac's regular sport suspension is probably pretty good too. And that's another TOO. So that's why I didn't get the Super Cruise package. Now, I neither did I get any of the active chassis packages. Why? Well, the same thing with the magnetic ride control. Again, I think, it, I think it's good. But I bet you that the, the standard sport suspension on this car is adequate for, for me. I bet you it's fine for me. I don't really like four-wheel steering. I don't want my back wheels to steer. Yeah, I know that's going to tighten my wheelbase and da-da-da-da-da and all these really cool, awesome things. I'm not into it. I'm just not into it. So I don't want that package. I don't want it, right? And the 20-inch wheels. I can get the wheels a la carte. Same thing with the... Uh, so I didn't get that package for that reason. The rear seat package... I think it's cool to have the rear seat entertainment and all that, but I'm not going to really have that many people back there, and I'm not really trying to do all of that. So I don't need to spend $2,700 on that rear seat package, which is why I didn't do that. Active chassis package 19, the only difference between this is the wheels, and so now you know I didn't do this because I don't want the active rear steering, and I'm not that crazy about the magnetic ride control. So I saved all that money. Comfort and technology package, we had to get that when we selected whatever that was that we selected. We had to get the comfort and technology package, and that works. It's got the heated rear seats, the, heat, the, the ventilated driver and front passenger seats. That's all good. I did get the premium carpet package and the interior protection package. So we're sitting at $70,000, and I've got everything that I want, and I think it's probably everything that you're going to want. I bet you that standard suspension is just fine, and as far as the four-wheel steer, you know what? I think it's great, but it's not for me. All right, let's move on. Okay, so now we're at the exterior. Now we can select wheels a la carte, but I see these little eyes next to them, and I'm wondering if they're going to try to make us choose packages, though. Are they going to make us try to choose packages to do these things? All right, maybe not, because I like these wheels. I like these wheels a lot. These are the 20-inch wheels. Let's see. These are a set of 20-inch wheels here. These are also nice. They're 700 bucks, and then there's these. Those those look like more CT6V, like Cadillac CT6V. Have you seen that car? I'm gonna put a link up to the Cadillac playlist, all right? And you can just see all of my car, all the Cadillac builds. But anyway, I like these wheels, the 20 inch midnight silver alloy wheels. I think these look hot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click this. Hopefully we can just get these a la carte, and they're not gonna make us get some package like a lot of everybody does. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, awesome. We were able to select those wheels. It didn't cost us anything additional. They look great. We've got this all black 2019 Cadillac CT6 Sport 400 horse, 400 torque, all-wheel drive. Doesn't have to have all that fancy mechanical suspension. Just hardcore, high-end luxury American sedan. I mean, that just sounds good to me. I like it. You got the 10-speed transmission. Yep, throw the engine block heater on there. I always say no to that stuff, but throw it on there. I used to never want to do those things, but yeah, let's get the engine block heater. I might want to use that once. All right, tire inflator kit, we don't need it. Front license plate bracket, you know what? The dealer's going to give you one. I don't probably have to spend $15 for it, I'm quite sure. Let's move on to the interior, though.
what do we want to do in the interior? Uh, I know I want to get that Bose pan array. I know that. Oh, look. Look at that. The illuminated trunk sill. Look at that. 295. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and get that bad boy. I'm also going to grab that Bose pan array system. I got to have it. I got to have it. I'm into that. Uh, anytime I'm looking at the high-end German cars, I want to option out the Bang & Olufsen or the whatever they whatever uh, sound system they're doing. And so I've got to have the Bose pan array. And at the end of the day, when you compare it, $3,700 for this one compared to usually $5,000 plus for the ones in the, in the European equivalents, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. So, yeah, we're going to get the Bose pan array as well. Then they have the night vision. They don't put a price point on that, but I don't know. The night vision is kind of... It's interesting. It's interesting. I don't know how well it works, though. Uh, and it, is it going to be dependent on the area? Like, does it work better in the city? Does it work better in the country? I mean, that kind of stuff. There's, there's variables I need to have more answers. I, there's questions I have I need to have answers to before I decide to pop for it, and especially because I can't see the price. So based on that, we're not, gonna, we're not going to um, we're not gonna get the night vision. And I think we can probably skip the Cadillac edition. Well... Maybe we got to get that Cadillac Edition first aid kit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We can skip over that. Doesn't that interior look beautiful? Yeah, it does. All right, let's move on to accessories, and I'm going to show you why we don't even need to spend 30 seconds over there, and then we can move on to summary. Okay, so here we are on the accessories page, and General Motors, right? General Motors, Cad General Motors is Cadillac, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, you know, da 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 da. Uh, every time you get to their accessories page, all this stuff, I'm going to show you a few of them. Like, for instance, uh, let's look at vehicle care, right? This is just car care kits, uh, waterless car wash, a 46-piece tool kit, a 94-piece tool kit. You understand what I'm saying? None of the stuff is specific to the Cadillac CT6. It's not specific to any of the models. It's just stuff that they throw in that you might be interested in, you know, some little upsell stuff at the end. And that's all that is. So we don't spend any time talking about the accessories, but I do spend a little time telling you why we don't talk about the accessories. So now we can move on to the summary. All right, we're at the build summary. So this vehicle started life at $66,599, $595. We took our on up to $77,970, and we could have spent a lot more money than that, but we held off on packages, not because I was trying to save money, but just because I wasn't genuinely, genuinely interested in them. So I have downloaded the build summary, and like I said, the build summary, if you like the way I spec this car, is in the, in this, in, in the description below. And I am going to do a full re written review on this car, and I'm going to put it up on my website. It'll take me a little bit of time after I put this video up. So it'll be a couple hours after I put the video up before the, before the article's ready, or at least, you know, three or four hours. So go check those links in the description so you can get everything, and you can get over to that build summary right, and, and get over to the review and really get a detailed review of everything that's available on this car. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you made it to the end, you're awesome. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. I'm going to keep turning out great content and even more of it. Uh, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.